Okay, good morning. Checking in. I'm in my morning uniform, which is my green comfy, which I actually just washed, which is amazing. I hardly wash this thing, but I wear it all the time. Sorry, just checking to see how my stomach is doing. So I do all day long. It's just like a little body checks. We are. Oh, it's upside down. We're putting together some liquid IV for ourselves. It's Monday. It's Monday morning. Every morning we give ourselves a dope girl bottle of liquid IV and some coffee if we're feeling up to it. Ta-da! Crystals haven't dissolved. That's fun. Nice and gritty tasting. And a little bit of coffee. I've noticed that after infusions for the first like week or so, my body doesn't want coffee, which is devastating. It deems it gross. So sad because I love coffee in the morning as a ritual and as Caffeine. Now, finally, I'm about almost two weeks out from infusions and my body wants coffee in the morning and that's very exciting. 9.46 a.m. Today, we'll see how the vlogging goes this week. I've already forgotten to do it all last week, so I picked up the camera today as a way to just get it going. Today, we are going to get an echocardiogram. Is that how you say it? Echocardiogram? Basically, I have to get my heart checked because these medications can mess with your heart. I have to go get a little heart check to make sure this thing is pumping correctly. And it's really no big deal. It's like 45 minutes, however it is. It's just like this whole thing is very awkward. As someone who's pretty reserved in their body naturally, it really forces you to shed all of those walls and just like give your body over to science. <laughs> Basically go into a room, strip off from the waist up and you just lay on a table while they measure your heart for like, a half hour to 45 minutes. So we're gonna go get half naked in a room with a stranger to make sure that I'm surviving well through this process. <laughs> Ooh, big Monday. What else is there to report? Just a lot of fatigue and a lot of gut stuff this time around. My stomach has not settled for weeks now. So we're still trying to eat a very boring, bland diet, which is so boring and so bland, but it's for the betterment of our body. We've already eaten oatmeal and a banana this morning. Life is wild over here. Oh, look how bright, lit up by my dashboard light. Anyone hungry? I got some meatloaf. We are in the parking lot of Cedar sinai and we are gonna go get an echocardiogram. I keep wanting to say echo cardigan, which sounds like a Taylor Swift song. We're gonna go take our shirt off. Girls go wild and get our heart checked. Girls gone healthy. We're a little early, so we can take our time, which is great. This is a new era of my life too, where um, I've been way just a normal adult woman vlogging in her car, which is pretty normal these days. I am a bit in a new era of my life where I'm early for things occasionally. That's never happened. For years and years, I was always late and running high anxiety of being late constantly. Just putzing around, panicking before I had to go somewhere. And now I'm early, so I can just sort of like sit. <laughs> Don't be afraid of wet, moist, dirty things. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Don't be afraid to have a dirty mind. Don't be afraid to have lascivious thoughts. Don't be afraid to have obscene thoughts. Don't be afraid of things that are future oriented. And don't be afraid of spontaneity. Spontaneity doesn't mean being reckless. It is Tuesday, you know what that means. We sit in our car and in the parking lot getting ready to go into therapy because we got here early. I don't really have anything else to say. It's a very full parking lot and people are driving around looking for a spot and I don't want to give them the illusion that I'm leaving. No, no, I just got here a little early because I'm doing a great era of arriving early to appointments, but I'm still too shy to just go sit around in the waiting room. So instead I'll wait in my car, little by little. But otherwise I'm doing well today, feeling a little bit better. I have had, I'll tell you, diarrhea like crazy for the last two weeks, all day, every day. Finally, I told my doctor because I was like, this can't be normal. I understand there's diarrhea associated with cancer, but this is excessive. And now I have to take two Imodium every two hours today. Block it up. Okay, they're looking for spots. I gotta go. Oh, post-therapy. No tears today. Still a good session. 
but no crying. My therapy has variety. <laughs> Hello, it's later in the evening on Tuesday. Mamrie and I just finished podcasting for the week over Zoom. It was delightful. And also, we had maybe one of the more in-depth conversations we've ever had on the podcast. A conversation about modern feminism and our lives as it correlates. That said, um, I turned this on because I wanted to show you something. As you can see, we redid our kitchen cabinets. I haven't done a full like reveal of it because I haven't done a cooking video, but do you want a little reveal? Here's a little reveal. It's a mess. How big? It's a mess. Look, we did these cabinets and then the kitchen's a mess. Any home person would be so disappointed that the kitchen's a mess, but really cool stuff. No, the thing I wanted to show you was this. Look at this. I got from Etsy. Look at this f***ing beautiful thing. I couldn't figure out what I wanted over here on the table and then I went on Etsy and found this thing called a flower bar and it comes with all these dry flowers and this little pegboard and you just put them in there. This is absolutely something you could probably make pretty easily yourself, but I didn't. I paid someone else who made it and then they shipped it to me and then I got to poke all the little flowers in in my own order and make it feel like I did it all myself. I love it. Look how cute that is. My little brother is coming later in the week, so we got to get the house in order. Everything outside is being like cleaned and figured out. Um, because I want to impress him. He's grown into quite an amazing interior designer in his new place and I want to impress him. I'm older, but I have a constant need to prove that I'm better. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. I just ordered some pizza and some macaroni and cheese because... Here, let's sit down and talk about this. I talked about it on the podcast, but I'll talk about it here. I'll give you a little health update. I'm doing a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better. I sound, I think, like I'm feeling better. And that's truth. I am feeling a little bit better. And it's also misleading because they get you to a point where you feel better and you forget about all the bad. And then they go, come on in. Let's put you full of some secret poisons. And then we'll just... You get out of here again. I'm feeling just more fatigued this time around, and then I've had a ton of diarrhea. That's the other side of it. I just, every day. I emailed my doctor about it, and he said take two Imodium every two hours, and that should fix it. And that seems like a lot of Imodium in a little bit of time. And so far it's going really well. And with that, I'm gonna have a gluttonous dinner because I think I've taken enough Imodium that it shouldn't hurt me. At least that's the math I'm doing in my head about it. Full on ramble vomited at you. Vomiting I have not done with all these side effects and that, that makes me feel like I can handle all the other ones. The vomiting still, phew. But I've been puking from a different hole. Um, okay, that's the update. I got some beautiful flowers and I've been having constant diarrhea. <laughs> Good morning. I just wanted to show you these new amazing Crocs that my friend Sarah Whittle gifted me. Can you see? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Hello, I'm in my own car again. Isn't that what vlogging is these days? Just people in their cars trying to shut out the rest of the world. I just got off the phone with my brother. I'm so excited. He's coming into town tomorrow. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's to try and get some snacks and stuff to stock up for his visit. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in years, but I keep seeing TikToks of people making food from Trader Joe's and it looks so good. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. Why have I not gone to Trader Joe's in years? Is because it's too charismatic there. People are too forthright with their riz. Employees are too extroverted. They see me in a shopping environment in which I often don't want to be seen. I'd like to be invisible and their whole purpose is to make you visible as a customer and that is very off-putting to me. <laughs> but these TikToks look so good. I know they got a lot of great shit there and I've just been not allowing myself to experience it fully out of fear. So we're gonna face a little stupid fear right now. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's and shop around. God, we're right here. That place was crazy. Every aisle was full of employees making sure that every single item on the shelf was perfectly aligned. Everyone was blocking everything and I, I could, I, I, I panicked and I bought a ton of shit. I don't know what it is. I don't know what goes together. Trader Joe's is not meant for browsing. It is meant for people that know where they're going, are getting in and getting out, and know what they're getting. And I was not any of those things. I wanted to look around with an open mind. I was like a salmon swimming upstream and I just like chaotically 
put my limbs out and grabbed whatever was available to me and I got miso paste and some candy among many other items. I got some flowers. Last minute, snag some flowers and some espresso chocolate beans. We need a second to gather ourselves. That was um, quite a stressful experience. I think I'm more of a Ralph's girl. I think I prefer Ralph to Joe. Ralph seems like he doesn't give a He just throws a bunch of in the uh, room and says, good luck, take your time. Hello, it's Thursday. Another day, another psyching myself up to go out to run a public errand. Where are all my introverts still feeling residual side effects of the pandemic at? Hey. This time the errand is a little different. Mamrie Hart turns 40 years old tomorrow. Incredible. Mamrie Hart is also extremely interested in wine. I'm gonna try and get her a really nice bottle of red wine. I know nothing about wine. That requires me talking to someone at a wine shop and asking them to recommend something. I have another gift for her that's absolutely chaotic and it's being made and I thought I expedited it, but I didn't. So that might get here in a few weeks. And that one is a real wild card. It's not something she needs or knows that she wants, but we'll see when it gets here. That one's a little bit more creative. So we're gonna, in the meantime, get her a really nice bottle of wine. And then we're gonna go to Target and we're gonna look for board games because my little brother gets into town later tonight, but I probably won't see him till tomorrow because I get sleepy early these days. I was getting sleepy earlier before these days started, but now it's I'm in bed by like 8 o'clock Humble brag guys wine shopping total success the guy that was in that wine shop easy peasy I didn't have to use any of my rehearsed conversation and he helped me find I think something perfect for memory Look how big this bottle of wine is <laughs> ideal once he showed me the novelty size wine we were all in. Success. Now let's go find board games. Successful target visit. We got Catan. We got another game. We got pumpkin scented candles. And then we got tired. <laughs> so we came back and we are in bed. i lay in bed for a couple hours and see where the day takes us, which might be to more bed. Here's the problem. I got really tired when I was shopping at Target. So I was like, I'm gonna come home and take a nap. Saw that last night I had put out espresso bean chocolates in a little dish because Elliot had a friend coming over and I was trying to be like hostess cute. Like, look at our house just naturally has like some candies and dishes around just in case. Oh. So I came home and I just started gobbling all the espresso chocolates. My brain's like bing and I'm in bed with my body tired and my brain bing little unconscious self-sabotaging ways we'll be gentle on ourselves spotted tired brain bing hello vlog i just took a shower which was lovely we haven't had hot water for over a week and we got our hot water tank fixed yesterday also my little brother's in town and i took him to one of the hottest spots here in los angeles last night the cheesecake factory at the americana elegant refined dining experience on a friday night i didn't vlog any of it because i wanted to spend time with my family and not be a fucking weird and today is now Saturday and I slept really poorly last night and I woke up feeling pretty icky So my little brother, I think might come over and call him. T I don't know why I didn't call him Tim You know Tim it might come over and I think we might just chill on the couch and watch TV today Just like we used to do when we were kids on Saturdays. <laughs> oh man, it is disappointing next Wednesday I get my third round of chemo, which is incredible that that's gone so fast. I was feeling like better and better and better every day and then yesterday I woke up a little wonky and today I woke up a little wonky and I think I'm just like pushing myself maybe a little bit more than I should. But look at this cute thing I got. Look at that. It's a glass bag and you put candy in it. How fucking cute is that? Hey, look who's here. Tim's oh. here! And guess what Tim brought with him for a day of nesting uh, a Nintendo 64 that we grew up with and we already played some uh, Pokemon Stadium. Sushi Go Round. Sushi Go Round. Best Greatest game, game ever. ever created. Greatest game ever created. He's introducing me to a show called Siren Survive the Island, mm -hmm. which is insane already. And we're eating popcorn. It's 3.30 on a Saturday afternoon and we're fully nesting. Successful yeah. visit so far. <laughs> We're here, we're in Palm Springs, bringing the brother to see the highball house. <sighs> I didn't piss my pants, I just have sweated between my legs. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, highball house. Uh oh, what's happening here? I'm cleaning. He's cleaning. 
because he's been making soup. Oh my God, How, what a sweetie making me soup. Good morning, we're down here in the womb room in Palm Springs. I wonder why I call it the womb room? Just fucking look at it. <laughs> Down here with my brothers and Elliot to have a nice couple days and it's really nice except I feel kind of crummy My stomach isn't great. Here's my collection of accoutrements and I have a delicious breakfast That Elliot just brought me with toast and bananas. So having fun just like so thought I might feel a little bit better But I gotta listen to my body so we're gonna eat really boring stuff and lay down Palm Springs is a perfect place for just laying down Goodbye. We just dropped him off at the Palm Springs Airport. Look at it, so cool. Hello! I've decided I'm gonna do some holiday decorating and I bought this off of West Elm. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a cartoon emo octopus, but it's a big old spider and I think it's sweet and hilarious. But cool. Update! We just drove back up from Palm Springs this morning, dropped my little brother off at the airport, it was very emotional. It was so nice to see him. Hold on. <sighs> I've had a very, very emotional day today. I've been crying all day today. I think it was that it was so nice to see my family. My stepbrother came down who lives out here in Los Angeles, but to spend time with him and Tim in long chunks of time was just so nice. And it was also like very confronting too because I felt sick. Like I couldn't really keep up with them and we weren't doing anything like that crazy we were just hanging out and i felt very tired and so it was like the first time i felt very confronted of feeling like very sick around people that are not sick want to entertain and host and the urge to want to do all these things that i just i can't really do right now i started throwing a bit of like a pity party for myself i also had therapy today too it's tuesday guys also my stomach wasn't feeling well like you've heard this whole week i finally did the brat diet thing and it really worked and so i'm sticking to that but it's just hard to get calories which is a little stressful and now it's the night before we go to round three of chemo which is amazing because that marks the halfway point of and it is starting to get tough emotionally yeah like i feel weak I feel tired, but I don't want to let myself wallow in like the negatives and instead I want to recognize that this is like because we're doing it because we're killing cancer this thing is temporary and this is part of the process this is what i didn't sign up for it's also a lot because tomorrow's my birthday if you know me you know i like to run out of town on my birthday and not receive a lot of that attention. I don't know why. Well, I do a little bit. I talked about it in therapy today of receiving that kind of attention. Makes me uncomfortable. And man, the universe is really making me work through shit, which is kind of cool, but uncomfortable. That's really what it is. I feel uncomfortable more than I feel comfortable these days. And I guess that's the shit of sickness. And that is the mental game that you have to manage after all these years of trying to like run away every birthday the universe is like no you're gonna sit down on your birthday and in fact we're gonna um plug you in to some stuff so you really cannot leave and we'll have to be around people who will know it's your birthday and you will have to sit there not for like a few minutes no for hours <laughs> i don't know there's a lot of extra attention this year all of that is what i'm working on dealing with <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't say sorry. That's stupid. So is that. So I don't want to sit here and cry, but it has felt like a lot the last couple days. And I guess maybe the highlight of it being my birthday just like puts this extra spotlight on it. Because I feel like I'm starting to have to really process and deal with a lot of the side effects. Some days it's totally fine. And then some days it's sh This week I've been really extra emotional about it from seeing my family. Knowing that they see me looking sick. And looking sick, I think, is the most confronting. I've spent so many years editing and crafting the way that I appear to people on little videos and off. And so when that's out of your control, you feel out of control. It's been nice to cry through it, though, today. A different version of me would really, really hold it in. Waves. All emotional waves. The good stuff is that I'm gonna be 38 tomorrow and we will be halfway or starting the halfway point of 
uh, the chemo experience. I also have that steroid in me that I have to take the day before my chemo sessions and that always makes me feel very like this so when I'm feeling like this and also emotional it feels very like spiraling suddenly <sighs> so I have to breathe but I just wanted to update you because I want to update you on stuff that's going on and also maintain some level of privacy but I don't want to give you the illusion that everything is so fine and good and manageable all the time Sometimes it's really emotional. That's okay. It's just uncomfortable. Good morning. It's time for chemo day three. I'm eating a sensible banana. I'm waiting on a piece of toast and we're making some coffee for Elliot. Feeling a lot better today. Bowels are feeling better today. That's a game changer. Let's go have one of the weirdest birthdays of my adult life. Oh, and I said this on the podcast before, but I bought crumble cookies to give the nurses today and I'm very nervous about it, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> we're meeting with the oncologist today. Oh, added activity today. Using the restroom again before we start, getting all the urine out. Doctor said my blood counts look good. Great birthday news. It begins. It is cold. I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> Look at this man being cute. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Look what this boy just set up. My god. <laughs> uh oh, he got himself a little birthday treat today too. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yay, round three is over. Slash it has begun. Woo woo! And now I'm gonna eat some french fries because I've earned it. Gentle, a gentle amount of french fries. Oh my God, this, oh my God. What, you know, making a lemonade out of. <laughs> <laughs> no, as my <laughs> cold cap just yeah. lays behind yeah. you like it's died of overworking today. And like we got crumble cookies delivered from Nathan and Tyler. It's so sweet. And oh my God, what the hell? We've tried one of these before and they're like so scary. They're insane. This is so fun. But that smells really good. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. I forgot how stupid and insane it was. There's so much smoke in the kitchen. <sighs> Got She's still got lung capacity. Killing it. Good morning. It is Thursday after infusion day three. Feel pretty good today. We're going to go back for hydration today, but it was a really great and exhausting day yesterday. There were so many beautiful birthday messages. Thank you to everyone. And Elliot made it a really sweet day, even though it was a really strange day. I think I'm really tired from all that. So today let's go get hydration. I got a needle in my arm from yesterday. So weird. This whole thing's so weird. We are now officially halfway and we start counting down the infusions versus counting up. How cool. It feels like starting was so long ago and yesterday. We're in hydration. We decided to wear a hat today. Pretty big day. This one came with me this week. Pretty big day. Hmm? No, no problem. <laughs> Back from hydration, looking like a latchkey kid. We just gave this little thing a bath with our last little bit of energy. And now we're making rice and we're gonna relax. I'll probably sleep. This begins the fatigue onset and whatever other side effects await me in this round three of chemotherapy treatment. So I'm going to go into my hobbit hole of health and nourishment and I will see you next video. Thanks for being here.